Well, good morning, and uh, today's a great morning. It's uh, June 3rd, and uh, come on with me. We're going to go grab up an eagle and get it ready for release. Um, I've got a golden eagle in here. This particular eagle um, came in several months ago. It was uh, uh, hit by one of the, the fan blades for the wind turbines out in Milford, and it was severely injured, uh, banged up real bad, concussion. It was uh, blind in its right eye, and it couldn't stand, it couldn't balance. It was, it was in pretty rough shape. And we've had it for now several months, and it's regained its balance. Its vision is good now. And we got to get this pretty little guy back in the wild where he belongs. So come on with me, and we'll, we'll catch him up. Baby. Here we go. There's, oh yeah, you're good and strong. Oh, you're good and strong. Okay. There's my boy. Here's my boy. I know, I know. Oh, there's my boy. Hey, big guy. Here's my boy. Okay. Let me tell you what we've got here. This is a what we call a sub-adult male. He's not quite old enough to breed yet. You can see, and the way we can tell is you can see the white in his tail. As a full adult, he loses that white. And so he's what we call a sub-adult. So he's probably in the three to four year old range. Uh, yes, I know you want to bite me. That's okay. And. Uh, Right here, he just had his breakfast. Oh, yes, baby. I know, you can bite. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. I know, I know. Shh. There's my baby. There's my boy. Okay. Anyway, right here, this is his crop. And that's full of food. And his breakfast right now, uh, this today, was um, what they call chislers. It's, it's a, a ground squirrel that a local farmer um, they invade his farm and when he kills, kills a bunch of them uh, in his alfalfa fields he doesn't poison them, he doesn't shoot them, but what he does do is he frees them and then brings them to us so that they get used and not just thrown away. So I'm greatly appreciative to the farmer who helps provide natural food for us and so that's wonderful and yes you're such a pretty boy and we're going to get you turned back to the wild. Yes we are. And he looks really good. So come on, let's go get him in the car. Yes, you are. You want to bite my face off. I like that. You know, people really don't understand when I talk about these guys, um, if they're willing to fight with me, if they're willing to bite me, if they're willing to hurt me, uh, that, that means they're willing to fight for their lives. And so to have an eagle that is this feisty and, uh, and bitey and footy and just saying you'll... I hate you, let me go. This is so wonderful, We just, I, I just love that. And now, to help make his transportation out to uh, the release site, this is a hood, and um, this covers the eagle's eyes so they can't see. It will help to keep him calmer for the trip. So this is his stress protection. Oh, I know, you're going to fight with that, but we, because he's never worn one of these, so he doesn't know what it is. He doesn't know what the advantages are, huh kiddo? Yes, we know. We know it's a terrible thing, terrible, scary, scary thing. And there you go. He's he's now blindfolded so that he doesn't stress out nearly as much uh, on the trip out to the release site. And right now, you can, like I said, you can see this big bulge right here. That's his crop. That's the breakfast that he's had. He's had lots of food for the last several months, so he's strong and he's got a big breakfast. And this beautiful young man is ready to go back to the wild. I'm so excited to get him back there. Please check out our revised Get Involved page. There's a note from Martin, ideas on how to help from afar, the link to our Amazon wish list, the newsletter sign up, info about our critter food supplier, and details about Amazon Smile. Well, here we are. This is the sea overlook uh, 
on the mountain above Cedar City. And we have our newest friend that we're going to get back in the wild. Let's see what it looks like here, shall we? Leave the hood on, sweetie? Yes, you left the hood on. Okay. Right there on the edge. Yeah. So now you can see the hood is there, so he's still pretty quiet. And um, this is this is the tricky part. I have to get those feet. Uh, if I don't grab those feet immediately, that eagle's going to grab me, and my next stop is going to be the hospital. So this is really important to do this right. And then once I got the feet, you know, then we just have to get the wings out of the way. Oh, come here, kiddo. Let me just change hands here. Okay, there we go. Get the wings out of the way. And there we are. And here's our newest friend. Yes, I know, I know you want to go so bad. Well, come on, let's let's go, guys, and we'll get this we'll get this guy released back to the wild. Watch where you going, sweetie. Such a pretty boy. Oh, watch your steps. Okay, you're good right there, sweetie. Okay. Um, Sue, so would you go ahead and pan around so you can see how see where we're at right here? This is uh this is the sea overlook and this is this is our hometown of Cedar City, Utah, uh, where we live. And uh, you know, this is absolutely beautiful eagle country, and we have one of the largest golden eagle populations in the world here in Utah. So we're always ex excited to get another one back in the wild where it belongs. And off in that direction, that's where it came from. That's uh, Milford is off behind those mountains, and that's, that's where it came from. And so the eagle have a good chance of just soaring right back home. Uh, but it, it may very well leave find a place to sit and try to figure out what's going on. So that's really, really important to, to give it a chance to, to sit quietly. Now, one of the things that I generally do when I have an eagle ready for a release back to the wild, you know, there's a common belief among native people that if you say your prayers with an eagle feather, the eagle feather will carry your prayers to God. Well, this eagle has over 7,000 feathers. And so we usually um, invite individuals or organizations that could use some extra prayers and let them release the eagle. Uh, in this situation, we just didn't have anybody lined up, and he's ready to go, and it's the eagle's the most important part. And so if nobody's ready to go, I'm not going to hold the eagle for, for weeks waiting for, for someone to, to, uh, to do this. So I get the privilege of releasing this guy back to the wild myself. And let's get that hood off. And hopefully, that's my boy. Yes, I know. You want to bite me so bad. And that's really good. You ready, big guy? Okay. Everybody ready? There you go. And up he goes. One more eagle back in the sky, right where he belongs. You know, I get asked all the time, you know, you, you put your heart and soul into rescuing these animals and they just fly away. Does that ever make you feel bad? And the truth of the matter is, no, this is my reward. Um, we do not receive a nickel of state or federal funding to care for these animals. And so my reward as a volunteer is to come out here and, and know that there's one more beautiful eagle in the sky. Um, and I had, I had something to do with that. And so that's, that's, that's been my life's work. Thank you. The purpose for the release first is to return the animal back to the wild. That's the primary focus. The second is education. The third is always to help bring awareness 
to our volunteer wildlife rescue organization. And so people get the opportunity to, to see and to understand um, the work that we do. We could release injured wildlife all day long, and if nobody knows that we released them uh, and that we cared for them, then we would have a very hard time raising money for our wildlife rescue center.